Cardinal Cushing, the man who opposed Father Feeney, Most Holy Family Monastery, Intro, False Traditionalists and others sometimes refer to true Catholics who believe in the Catholic Church's teaching on baptism and the necessity of the Catholic faith for salvation as Feeneyites. The charge is utterly false and dishonest. It is a calumny, as the proof and arguments for the true position have nothing to do with Father Feeney. Heretics employ the accusation as a dishonest way to divert from the dogmatic facts that refute and convict them. However, the truth is that Father Feeney was on the correct side of the pre-Vatican II dispute over this dogma. He defended the dogma. Outside the Church there is no salvation and the necessity of water baptism against the modernist pre-Vatican II clerics who were denying it. People who fail to recognize that the denial of this core truth was in full swing in the decades before Vatican II will not see the true nature of the current crisis. They are also more likely to fall prey to the heretical teaching that was circulated in fallible sources before Vatican II, as we've explained many times, for an example. In yes, the apostasy began before Vatican II. The denial of outside the church there is no salvation and the necessity of water baptism by pre-Vatican II modernists was one of the primary causes of the apostasy at Vatican II. One of Feeney's main enemies during the dispute over this dogma in the years before Vatican II was the Archbishop of Boston, Cardinal Richard Cushing. This is an interesting new post about the modernist and heretic Cardinal Cushing. Understanding what Feeney's enemy Archbishop Cushing believed and stood for provides further insight into which side was Catholic and of God during the aforementioned controversy, and which side was not. The answer, Father Feeney was on the correct side. Dear brothers, the recent article linked on your website about Cardinal Cushing and his role in the legalization of birth control in Massachusetts in the 1960s, is quite telling. Cushing actually encouraged Catholic and non-Catholic legislators to legalize birth control. I am also convinced that I should not impose my position moral beliefs or religious beliefs on those of other faiths. To legislators weighing the merits of the bill, he said, if your constituents want this legislation, vote for it. Cushing originated the personally opposed to, but, theory that would provide cover for Catholic politicians to justify their support of legalizing birth control and abortion beginning first with the Kennedy family, Ted Kennedy, a close friend of Cushing. Cushing was a prolific enemy of the Catholic faith and a major instrument in the establishment, promotion of the Vatican II sect perhaps more so than any other public figure outside of Italy. His anti-Catholic activities span three decades. 1940s to 1970s. Cushing was also Father Feeney's chief nemesis, persecutor and an ardent denier of salvation doctrine. Most Holy Family Monastery readers might find it interesting to read chapters 26 and 27 of Most Holy Family Monastery's salvation book for the account of Cushing and Father Feeney's battle. Cushing was also instrumental in drafting key Vatican II documents. Cushing also promoted false ecumenism. Here's an interesting New York Times article from October 1964 which describes how Cushing encouraged Catholics to attend a Billy Graham crusade. The Cardinal termed Mr. Graham's message one of Christ crucified, and said that no Catholic can do anything but become a better Catholic on hearing Mr. Graham. At one point, the Cardinal turned to the newsman and said I have never known a religious crusade that was more effective than Dr. Graham's. I have never heard the slightest criticism of anything he has ever said from any Catholic source. I only wish we had a half a dozen men of his character to go forth and preach the gospel of Christ crucified. The case of Cardinal Cushing clearly demonstrates the logical trajectory of the denial of Catholic salvation dogma. When one denies it, bad fruits quickly follow as was the case with Cushing and the Vatican II sect mass heresy, apostasy, birth control, abortion, false ecumenism, etc. False traditionalists need to wake up and recognize the obvious cause and effect relationship, embrace the truth and flee quickly from the Vatican II sect, the whore of Babylon. Regards, Mike.